So today I'm doing an unboxing of the Hop Hog HD PVR2. Picked it up at Best Buy. Yeah, it's a closeout for like $159. $159. Let me get all the Nintendo cords out of the way. I'm a little under the weather and my sinuses are killing me, so sorry about that. If you hear any sniffling or the sounds off. The dogs are barking in the background, so sometimes the sound's gonna close out, and sometimes it's not. So Basically, you get your um, com what are the component video cords, and then an HDMI cord. It says it only comes with one, but there's two in here. I can see them already. There's the component thing for the PlayStation 3 because uh, PlayStation has that protection HDMC or something like that. So you need those special adapters so you can get past it. There's the other HDMI cord, and of course the power cord can't go wrong with the power cord so I'm actually doing the voiceover after the fact and I was kind of lying to you that power cords a little short <laughs> good thing the USB cord they give you is really long that makes up for the short power cord so this right here is just telling you that the component connection that you hook the PlayStation to is kind of weak and if you shake it around too much, you're going to lose signal. And also that ATI boards have an issue with something or another. And I don't have an ATI board, so I didn't really read it. I won't lie to you. Here's the basic setup. If you have a 360, just going through your HDMI. Anything else that uses HDMI, you can do that. Or you go through the component for the PS3. Now, I'm doing reviews on PS3, on Xbox 360 on um, regular Nintendo so what I'm gonna do is I have a another connection through another device that I'm gonna run through here I already tested it and that's how I'll get uh, my Nintendo and Super Nintendo and all that good stuff going so like I did like I said earlier there's two HDMI cords there they're fairly I think they're like six feet long see I thought I lost the disc there that disc is very important if you lose it it's 24 bucks it's got the software that you need to run it, the Showbiz software, and what I'm seeing so far, it's the only thing you can use to import off of it. And uh, I did a little test at the end of this, and the import is pretty good. I'll show that in a little bit. And here's the back of it. Your HDMI in, HDMI out, the little AV for connection, USB and power. Real simple, looks kind of nice. It's it's black like the PlayStation. It's got the green for the 360. Here's a component cable that came for the PS3 that connects to the component input, which is that's not it. Those are the well, those are the outputs. There's the input. You see the little part on the end right there. That's what's kind of flimsy. You don't want to knock it around. This is my favorite part of new electronics: taking off the little safety condom. I don't know what else to call it. Don't look at me like that, Chuckles. It blinks blue when you haven't plugged it into a computer or put any of the software. And when you have the software and you're recording, it has a nice glow. Ooh. So here's some footage that I took with it. And it's the demo of Double Dragon Neon. And I actually brought my PlayStation back here into the computer area, so I didn't have any other games to play, and it was just a demo on there. And I just wanted to watch this part right here. Look. Oh, right in the baby maker. Just like back in the day. And that's my unboxing of the Hopog HD PVR2. Hopefully I'll be using it a lot for stuff here on the Old Married Gamer. Um, tune in, watch oh, it, man. have fun. I do. Subscribe. <laughs> Yeah, listen to Chuckle. Subscribe, Hatchet TV Network. Don't go to the, the Old Mary Gamer um, YouTube channel. There's nobody on there. I don't use it for anything. I just wanted to make sure nobody got my name. Alright, peace.